hi there was just a video I did it of course it didn't it deleted but anyways my point was this that there was a video that was uploaded underneath my video when I was like you know foreigners discriminating against black Americans it's true foreigners do discriminate against black Americans and they carry their flags for separation of black Americans okay you'll see them with their flags parading that no they are not American you understand and they are not black and you know what there's nothing wrong with that because I'm not foreign I'm not from the islands I'm not Caribbean I am a black woman who works hard okay and I have been dealt some cards that I doubt myself pretty much by the choices that I made but I do not tell anyone to go back to their country because we're all from Africa before the continent split we were all from Africa okay and personally when you talk about I'm African American you cannot be you can only be African or you can be American and what I want black Americans to identify and recognize with is this when you say I am African what language do you speak if you do not speak a language that's part of a tribe. You as good as dead. You go back to Africa. Where are you going to go back to Africa and what? Where are you going to go? Where? What information do you have? Who do you know in Africa? I can't claim continents and people from continents if I'm not from there. My roots are from here. And I don't even know them. That's really here. I know only the closest generations. But the, you know, the descendant generations, no, I do not know them. I was not also born in slavery, okay? Neither one of my parents was, okay? And nor was, you know, my grandmother. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, you have to be careful when you start using these terms about what you are and fighting for things that happened 400 years ago. I understand slavery. I will never forget it. I understand seeing my people being hosed down by, you know, uh, fire hose and everything, water hose. You understand what I'm saying? I understand blacks and whites, the separation. However, I will not understand bad behavior. And I will not be distracted by the titles of racism and I'm this and I'm that. I am a human. I am a black American woman. I go to work. You know, I pay for my goods and pay my taxes like everyone else. No, I'm not better than anyone. I hope we are all allowed the opportunity to really have a good decent life in America but it all starts with recognizing go to work after you go to work get yourself some education you understand you might not want to but the real deal is you must you understand and in order to do that you got to start really taking a self-assessment of yourself where do you see yourself and the only time it's late is when you're dead You'd rather be above ground than underneath ground. So, you know, don't let anyone with their titles or their misconception, you know, that, oh, it's hard out here. What's hard is the lack of information, what you know and what you don't know. What evolved is information. That's the only thing in evolution. Evolution is, it's information. You understand what I'm saying? But other than that, it's those who know and those who do not know. And that's what's harming everything. Everybody, I don't care what color you are. If you don't, if you lack certain knowledge and information, you won't ever succeed. You will always be oppressed. You will always pay the government. You will always play into racism. Oh, only blacks have this and only whites can afford this and they're superior. I know just as many white homeless people who are below poverty level, Spanish people, everybody that's below poverty level because why? They're relying on a failed government system and that is the real deal and the bottom line. As soon as you get up and you start working for your coins and you start putting your coins together, you will succeed in this world. Not to the level of, oh, I want mansions in an unrealistic level but you can get that too you just got to get your ducks in a line in order you understand get your credit right you understand start working towards a goal in this life and you can have that home you can have that automobile but can you afford to have it and that's what you want so you want your whole team secure you want to show everyone what it takes to be working but as God said you need his blessings because you know man cannot and will not, you know, live on but bread and butter alone. But every word that perceiveth out the word of God. Every word that perceiveth out the mouth of God.